This is the plaintiff, Rebecca Cepeda. She says she and one of the defendants were co-workers, and they were supposed to go on a trip to Puerto Rico together. Unfortunately, an argument ensued before the trip. She ended up staying in a different house, and now the defendant won't return her money. The defendant's carrying on like a baby, lost her job over it, and is now going to lose this case because she's owed $1,200 and expects the judge to award it to her today. These are the defendants, Tina Carson and Katrina Pinter. Tina says the plaintiff bailed on her one week before the trip because she wasn't happy with the sleeping arrangements. The plaintiff's the one who messed everything up. The deposits she gave were non-refundable, and there's no way this girl deserves a penny of her money back. They're accused of taking advantage of a former co-worker. The defendants have filed a countersuit for $843 for airline tickets and a vacation rental. All parties, please raise your right hands. Be seated, come to order, please. Litigants have been sworn, Your Honor. Thank you, Douglas. You're Rebecca welcome. Cepeda? Cepeda. You are su say it again. Cepeda. Cepeda. Yeah, it's Cepeda, but if you want me to say Cepeda, I will. Cepeda. <laughs> okay, Rebecca Cepeda, <laughs> you are suing Tina Carson and Katrina Pinter? Yes, for $1,200, the cost of a rental, $400 per person, you're suing on behalf of three people? Yes. Okay, well, we'll talk about that in a minute. You're counterclaiming against, the two of you are counterclaiming against your $843 that you had to pay in difference for airfare because she canceled your flights. Okay, so this started off as a wonderful, fun birthday trip. It was your birthday and someone else's birthday. It was my cousin's birthday, but she's not present today. And, uh, and all of you were going to have this great trip where? In Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. All right. And so what? How, how did you all know each other? Through work. We all worked together. All right. So you were going off on the street to Puerto Rico for how long? We were going for about six days. All right. Now, who found the rental place? You I did. did. Right. And that had how many bedrooms? It has three bedrooms. And how many people were supposed to be going on this flight? There's going to be six of us. Six of you. And then at some... Seven. Okay. And so why was that a problem? because they refused to stay with their friend that they invited that none of my friends knew. And I said, go they ahead. They refused to stay with? With their friend in one room that they invited. None of my friends knew her friend. I agreed that she can come. That's not my issue. It's an open place. Why would I not say that your friend can come? You know right. what I'm saying? I want us all to have fun. I'm right. not that type of person. It's not my character. I don't disinclude anybody. Right. So and when she it came, refused to what? She refused to stay in the room with her friend. There was two beds in one room. And that was for her and her friend. And her Wait, friend. who decides who gets what room? We made an agreement. Beforehand. I, yes, and that's in via text messages. She knew I was supposed to get the master suite for my birthday. I even, I even was considerate to switch rooms after my birthday. Let me see if I understand. Was she always <clears throat> going to get the master? Her? Yeah. No. She was okay. going to share a room with who her friend. Who was going to get the master? Me and my cousin. The entire time? No. I was even... Consider it to switch with her, but I wasn't no, supposed no. to get I it. No, no, I want to know what the original agreement was. If everybody had to get the divvied up, room. can you stop a second? Let me listen to my yes. question. Had everybody divvied up who's going to get what room at that point, before, at the, at the early point? Yes. All right, and then you and your cousin were supposed to get the master. Yes. And the master had a balcony. Yes, okay. from what I was aware so, of. So at some point, your story is that at some point she switches and she says, I want the master. Yes. And that's where the problem happened. Yes. And you said you have texts that prove that she's the one who was switching the arrangements. Yes. Okay, let me see. What are you, exasperated with me? No. Oh, good. Okay. I'm not. <laughs> so I'd like to see the text actually in a phone rather than print it out because I want to I don't have my phone. I printed everything. I had this thread from the investigation. And I don't have the thread in my phone anymore. I deleted it. I had investigation at work, and I already had this printed out. Investigation at work? Yeah. Over what? Because her friend decided to come up to the job to try to antagonize me and start problems with me. After my boss was aware of the situation, he sent me back up to work to continue to work. She was already supposed to leave. I come in at 345. She leaves at 4 o'clock. There's no reason for you to be lingering around telling your friend to come up there to try to threaten me after you got confronted because you refused to give me my money back. How did this work out in terms of the trip? How soon before the trip is the problem happening? She caused an uproar a week before, asking me about the sleeping arrangements. If you thought Let that... me see the text. Okay. Do you have the text in your phone? Yes. Let me see them in your phone. It's from here. Okay, thank you. 
So now what's this? Is this a picture of you? Is this you going bang, bang? Yes, ma'am. Oh, okay. Bang, bang. I, I can't even read it. I, I just, I, I can't. Um, this is before the trip. Yes, ma'am. Oh, okay. That's conducive to people staying together on a trip and having fun. What was this about? Did you know about this? I don't know what that is. Oh, well, let's see. What is that? And when did you send that? Um, I don't remember the exact day, but it was after everything uh, happened with Rebecca and Ari. They got fired from work because Ari and Rebecca went up Wait, there. Wait, did, did you get fired? I got fired. Yes, I lost my get, job. Did you get fired before the trip? Yes. yes. How did you get fired? Because at my workplace, there's no um, zero toleration. Zero toleration. Yeah, but why, how come she didn't get fired? She, she did. did. Oh, she got fired too? Yeah. Yes, no, I what, didn't. Both I of you are saying no. I resigned. You want to see my paperwork? Oh, no. I believe you got fired now. Yeah, All right. Yeah. And did you get fired or you don't work there? You don't work there. Everybody got fired. Now that, okay, that's fair. If everybody got fired. So everybody got fired. Wow. You have and no then paperwork. how is. I resigned, miss. Uh, did you call me miss? Mrs. 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 <laughs> <laughs> if I was a man, what would you call me? Mr. Really? Would you call a judge Mr.? Judge, I'm sorry. Right. If I was a man, you'd call me judge, right? Okay. Listen. This is your phone. Yes. Okay. On March 20th, you text her a bunch of texts saying, I'm not trying to fight with you. Um, let, let's not fight over this. Let's, you know, I, I'm, we had agreed that we'd have, I, I don't know, you don't, you don't seem to be, you seem to be fighting over whether you guys, you guys have one room. I don't see the argument over the master thing. But I see your text and response, I'm getting my own hotel room. I don't care. You guys can argue about it. Count me out. Yeah. OK. I didn't want any drama. OK, mm. this is 20 days before the trip. And she responds, oh my god, stop. You're making a big deal when it's not. I'm not trying to fight with you right now before we leave. And your answer is, not really. It's my birthday. So I'll buy my own hotel room. I'm not selfish or greedy. You're bugging for no reason. Don't be overly dramatic. You know, and you're, I'm out. All right, so you decide that you're not going to go through with staying there 20, 10 days beforehand. All right, now let me hear from you. What was the problem here? Okay, we all booked a trip <clears throat> together. I put the flights under my name. I, I mean, she put the flights under her card. I put the house under my name. We all exchanged money for whatever we each paid for. Seven days prior to leaving, we got into the fight, which was on the 21st of March. That's when they came into my job trying to pour my there. money. No, excuse me. Go ahead. That's what? She, they, Ariana and Rebecca both came into my job while I was on the clock. They came into the deli. They asked me, we need to talk, Rebecca said, I need to talk to you outside. I went to the hallway. When I went into the hallway, that's when Ariana was standing out there, her friend that's sitting over there. I talked to them. Was she one of the people who was supposed to be at the trip? Yes. OK. Um, you what do you mean? Hey, 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 hey. You obviously have an anger problem. Because you can't even shut up while another witness is testifying. And then you roll your eyes at me every time I ask you to stop doing that. Um, you have a counterclaim. And your yes. counterclaim is against her. Because as it turns out, the, the original arrangement was you would be putting the, the house on your credit card. And you would be put, is it a house or a condo? It was a condo. Condo on your credit card, and you would be putting all of the flights on your credit card. And then everybody settled up, right? Yep, we exchanged okay. money. So now, here you are. You've been fired. Both of you, well, you've been fired. You've resigned at the same time as, you know, the problem. And then you um, find out that she has canceled yes. the flights yes. on you. And I had the kids. When, how did you find out she canceled the flights? Because I got an email because everything was under my email. Even though she put it on her card, it's so still. So she didn't me. text you to say, I'm canceling your flights? She didn't cancel. No. No. So she just goes oh out and cancels goodness. your flights. Yes. And then you get the email because it's your email that's associated mm -hmm. with yes. the flight info. Did you cancel their flights? I canceled their flights, but I did not get a refund. They continued to no, rebook so it. So you did cancel yes. their flight. Why did you cancel their flight? I told Katrina I was canceling her flight when but she why? showed up at my job. Why? Because they owe me money. So you canceled their flight? Yes. Welcome back to the People's Court, Harvey Levin here. So, um, is it a good idea for coworkers uh, to get chummy and go on vacation together? No, of course not. Because? Because you're going to work with them. You can't be friends with someone you're working with. But that's where you meet people. Good idea, bad idea? 
Bad idea. Because? Because it just turns into disaster. <laughs> yeah, that's interesting. You guys are very pessimistic about life. <laughs> you need to listen to me more, going inside the courtroom. <laughs> I canceled their flights. Well, right, did you have to cancel their flights? It was on they my paid credit you card. For, I don't care. Not how did you cancel their flights. I know how you did. I'm asking you what right do you have to cancel their flights when they, you, you put it on your card, they paid you for it, that's over. So the right thing to do is to go to court and then sue for whatever it is you feel you should get back when you decide that you're not going to stay at the place that had been agreed upon. And then a judge listens to both sides and decides who's right about this. What ends up happening? You get the email that it's been canceled, and then what? And then, she, yes, she did not get the refund, but because the flights were under my name, I got a credit under those two names. Okay. So then I rebooked tickets, but since it was only five days prior to the trip, the ticket prices went very high. So I got the credit, and then I bought new tickets on top of that, which added out to be... Um, $658 for two tickets. Let me see proof that yes. you had to pay extra because she canceled yes. it to spike. Yeah. And why are you suing for an extra night in rental? Because due to her canceling my plane tickets, I had to leave on Easter because the, there was no flights left. So I had to pay for also an extra room for $185. Here you go. And here's even my bank statement that shows it on there. And here's the receipt from What Expedia. did you end up doing? You rented another place? Oh, yeah, I stayed at a hotel. And. Did you folks run into each other in Puerto Rico? No. No. OK, here's a deal. On your lawsuit against them for $1,200, zero, it is non-refundable. It is clear from the text that you're the one who bailed out. And that whether or not I find her position tenable is irrelevant. It's not that, I don't care who gets the masker, mm -hmm. okay? That's not it. It's that this was something that she was willing to work out. And let, let's talk about it. Let's talk about why, why, can you, why, do you, why do you have to scream? Why do you have to come at me about it? You came at me like a nut. You don't have to be such a baby. Let's, that's it. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Peace out. I'm getting my own place. I bet whatever, what, that you were the one who bailed. You bail and it's non-refundable. She doesn't have to pay you back. She can't get her money back. And on the counterclaim that you folks have against her on the $658 difference in the airline ticket, yeah, because you were spiteful and vengeful and you did that in order to cost them money. So yeah, you've got to pay them back the $658. As far as the extra night, your argument is, well, we only had to have an extra night because she, you know, she did that to us. The 185 is you had to pay the whole, the, uh, for the extra, extra for the money. house. Yeah. Yeah, you get that too. $843 verdict for the defendant. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. So the plaintiff is the big loser in this case. She's just come out of the courtroom. You're smiling, but boy, the judge feels you've got a real anger problem. Only God can judge me. Thank you. All right, here come the defendants. How do you feel about the outcome of this? I figured the court case would work out in this way, but it's just a shame she had to throw away a friendship over something so silly that we could have resolved. Yeah. That's what it really sounds like. Yeah. I mean, obviously, this friendship is gone. No, oh, gone. forget that. And you lost your job. Over. And I lost my job. You still out of work? Yep. Wow. Was the, was the trip worth it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You had it a was great so time? much fun. It was fun. great. Way to go. That's time. what we need. Good. Okay, thank you. Thank and congratulations. You, you. you won. Yeah. Good for you. <laughs> well, at least they're happy, Harvey. How do you think about that? Okay, Doug, you know, if the defendant had done something unreasonable to make her cancel, uh, that would have been one thing, but was not the case here. Do not get your money back. Now, we'll do it for this case. Litigants for the next case on the way into the courtroom right now.